Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Weetabix and Diet Whey. A bit of honey on it. Easy digesting for somebody with a dicky tummy like me. Right. Pay-per-view. Have we got a pay-per-view? Overkill. Is it being abused? I, can, I don't like to mention this because I'm, I'm like a broken record, but I feel like I have to keep pointing it out to you people. So here we go. If you're not happy with pay-per-view, all you've got to do is email viewer, V-I-E-W-E-R, capital R, and then at sky.co.uk. Tell them you're not happy. There's a lot of people not happy, but nobody's speaking out. Simon Jordan spoke out though. You know, the ex Crystal Palace chairman, he, he owned a phone shop, didn't he, back in the day? Forgot which one it were. But uh, he, he, he spoke out, Simon Jordan, and told it straight. And, and I think that's good, and he's, uh, he's set about Eddie Earn. So have a little listen to this. Because they run out of subscriptions in America to keep growing their business, and the UK market was going to 
European markets were going well, um, and, and, and that may change. But no, I don't think it's outmoded. I do feel that it's outpriced. Yeah. And you can't, if you're sitting here and saying 75 bucks is what the American market had to pay, well, they told you. They voted with their feet. They told you mm. they don't want to pay $75 to watch the heavyweight championship of the world between Deontay Wilder. You could turn around and say, well, because he can't sell Deontay Wilder. But, come on, it's the heavyweight championship of the world. They needed 1.1 million views, 1.1 million pay-per-views, and they got 850,000, and it's the price point. So, with respect to Eddie Hearn and his endless print press of cash that he wants to generate for his fighters, you have to get balance and context. Um, and there will always be an illegal streaming marketplace, but that is becoming more and more prevalent because of the price point that broadcasters want to generate for, for the fighters in this instance. And of course, he will make the narrative be about the fighters. And when you say, well, I don't see any footballers getting 50 million pounds for, for, for playing five or six games. Uh, and they'll say, well, they're not, they're fighting because fighting's different and they'll, they'll, they could lose their lives. Yeah, I get that and I understand that. There's no more noble sport and no more sport with authenticity and integrity that I really appreciate than boxing. But come on, come on. Just because Floyd Mayweather runs around getting paid auctions doesn't mean that every fight is going to be worth 50 million quid or should be worth 50 million quid. Yeah, very good analysis or speech there from Simon Jordan. That's the best one I've heard. See, my argument with pay-per-view is this. And I don't like to go back to this, but eight years ago we had Frotch Boutte, didn't we? On a non-pay-per-view Saturday night. And now we've got Dylan White Povetkin on a second pay-per-view inside three months. Not a non-pay-per-view, a pay-per-view. So, 41-year-old against Dylan, who, who got knocked out in the first one and has never fought for a European. So the product is watered down. Everybody agrees... That's why people are complaining to Sky all the time. Complain to me, but well, I say just email Sky. Viewer, and then capital R, and then at sky.co.uk. Tell them, if they get 25 complaints, they'll deal with Adam Smith accordingly. Although, I don't think anybody can deal with Adam Smith. He's the godfather, isn't he? But... Something's got to be done, hasn't it? Because they're just running wild with this pay-per-view. I mean, they had KSI, Logan Paul, 10 quid. Everything's going pay-per-view. It's pure greed. Pure greed. And something's got to be done about it. And fair play to Simon Jordan for speaking out. He's not bothered. He, he's just telling it straight. And I wish everybody else were like that. You know, managers, trainers... Even some promoters, fighters. I understand you want to blow a bit of steam off when you tell me, but you've got to come on your social medias and tell tell people because you've got enough followers. Stop being. I'm not saying cowards. Stop being shit houses and telling me I don't want to fucking know. All right. Tell your followers on social media and tag Eddie Earning. Tell them. Don't tell me. Give me bullets to fire. I'm enough on my plate. Tell them because they're running a mock with pay per view. The best thing about it is the pundits at Sky, they all know what's going on, but they're turning a blind eye because of money. I mean, you've got Tony Bellew there. He goes on about the Sun newspaper and Liverpool and this and that, and I can understand where he's coming from. Tony Bellew were fighting on Sun sponsored cards when they were fighting with Frank Warren, so were Paul Smith. They were alright then, won it, but they were getting paid, so they're going to turn a blind eye. See where I'm coming from? Same with Tony Bellio now, he's getting paid. He's getting paid from Barry Earn at Matchroom to be to be do media for them, and he's getting paid from off Sky, isn't he? But Barry Earn's in Epstein's book, but yet Bellio wants to stone all people that are involved in sordid things. But he's alright to take money off Barry Earn and take money off Frank Warren when he was sponsored by some newspaper. Look, the word for that, and the word is whores, or prostitutes, but you know it is what it is, isn't it? They say one thing and they do another. So, but what can you do? It's boxing, isn't it? It's, it's full of contradictions and 
you just got to keep it real and you be yourself but when you've got frotch booty non-pay-per-view i'll never get over that andre ward and frotch super six final non-pay-per-view it's craziness isn't it craziness utter madness we've got eggington and cheeseman eggington and cheeseman non-pay-per-view saturday night could you put Crotch versus Boutte for that? So, in that eight year, we know what's happened, don't we? It's been watered down. Watered down in that eight year period. Here's another thing. I can't remember if I mentioned this on another video. You know all the opponents on these shows that they're putting on? Go down the right hand side. This is you as well, Frank Warren. On the right hand side, if you go and look on BoxRec, at the BoxRec rankings, right? And add, it all, add the rankings of all the opponents up. So if there's seven fights on, add all the rankings up and then divide it by seven. Then you'll get an average box rec ranking for the opponents. And then what you'll get to see, then you'll get to see if you're getting value for money. Now they say it's a numbers driven business, don't they, boxing? Well, it's number, numbers driven for fans as well, isn't it? And we've just, we have, what we've got, we've got promoters stood on balcony in the penthouses. And they're taking a piss on us. And we're all underneath. Hey, we love boxing. And what they're doing, they're hosing us down in piss. That's what's going on. Nobody's saying a word. Tell me, it's not up to me, is it, to, to take these lot on? I've got enough on my plate. Although I will, because I ain't bothered, am I? I'm pretty fearless. Nobody's going to take me on, are they? All right? Nobody. Because the pen's mightier than the sword. But let me tell you this, I'm up to here with it, I'm up to here with what we're being fed. We're being fed narratives by biased commentators who should know better. And these commentators, they must get home and look at how they get hammered on social media and they must look in the mirror and they must say, do you know what, I am a coward, I am a shithouse, I am a whore, I'm a prostitute, how can I ever show my face in public again? And you know who I'm on about, you know, yeah, all of yous, you know, eh? How many of them pundits at Sky like Carl Froch will tell it straight, how many? And he's given a few shocking scorecards in on his unofficial scorecard, ain't he, Carl? But it's how he reads the fight, but getting back to the bias, I don't think he's bias. He tells it straight. But some of them on there. How do they look in mirror at night? How do they look the children in the eye in the morning knowing that they've just hoard themselves out at night? It's shocking. So we need to send emails in to Sky and complain. Viewer, capital R at sky.co.uk. Send your emails in. Get them told straight what you think. Get them told. So we're not getting value for money. And tell them. Ring them up or, or leave your number in email, they'll ring you up and tell them you want a better deal or you're sacking them and you're going elsewhere. Go buy a box. Go to vipbox.com, get it free on the stream and if that don't work or if it crashes at middle at fight or middle at pay-per-view, go buy a box, they don't crash. But don't give them your money, vote with your feet like they have in America. They voted with their feet in America with their own, didn't they? And look what's happened. We can do that to Sky. So, alright, so share this video, like and subscribe it, press your notification, whatever, leave a comment, but get this video shared, let's get it out there. Let's get boxing back on track, let's get the fights that we want. Fury against Joshua. Why should they be getting 50 million for that fight? Why? 50 million? What's going on here? We've got nurses on 25 grand a year, top nurses, saving lives. 20, 25 grand a year. 50 million? Wow. No wonder they're all whoring themselves out on with, with videos every day and that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And you know greed, like I said, reaches into the core of people, reaches deep inside. This is what this is what we're up against. This is in front of your eyeballs, this. You, the fans, need to vote with your feet. And we can get these fights we want. We can get the fights we want and get value for money. They can have the 50 million then, but we're going to have to have our fights, aren't we? 
We want them what we want. What they're saying is pay per view. We want four or five of them on the same night. That's what we want. We might pay a bit extra then for getting good value. Uh, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by lies and greed and people whoring themselves out like prostitutes. Alright? Peace out. Don't have nightmares.